and my sports bra is in on Inside Out. Hey guys, Lexi here. Man, what a day, what a day. It is 12.45 and I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, I am just like not feeling inspired. A whole lot of blah, you know? I don't know if you guys have ever felt that way, but I'm really looking for something to like motivate me, get me going and like, I don't know, to just kind of jumpstart, reset and get going and have passion and drive that I, I once had about a week ago. <laughs> so I don't know where it is. You know, there are some weeks that I, I do feel a little, you know, what am I doing and what is this all for? And you know, just stuff like that. So I thought that would be a good thing to share with you guys. I was just telling Mallory, she's in the other room, maybe because I, I've stopped drinking coffee or maybe because I've stopped eating Chipotle. Maybe these are all reasons I don't feel inspired. So I told her today, we're gonna eat Chipotle and tomorrow I'm drinking coffee. No, I don't know if that's why, but <laughs> Going back to my roots, guys, going back to my roots. Okay, well, I just got back from working out, um, and I do feel a little bit better. I did like a lot of stretching, stretching. When I was sitting there, and I was just literally staring off into space, I was like, man, I don't do this enough. I need to stare out into space more. I think that that kind of plays a big role. So, here's the good news. Drinking water, and doing a light workout, and getting outside, I don't feel as tired as I was before. I can't be tired because I got 10 hours of sleep last night. Like that's crazy. And like usually when I'm feeling this way, I've never had it this bad where I felt like this. And I'm saying uninspired. And when I say uninspired, that means like lack of creativity. And I do that like on a regular basis. But when I mean uninspired, I mean like, like I don't feel, like I, I love creating videos for you guys. And so the fact that like I am kind of a lack of inspiration of creating my next video or like usually there's something that inspires me every week that I'm so excited to share with you guys. And like this week I'm just, I don't know, it's, I'm struggling with that and I feel like I'm hitting, hitting a wall. And I think it has to do with, this year was an interesting year. Not only for the Giants, but for Let's Get Lexi personally. And then as the year goes on, things don't always end up the way you really want them to end up. You know, this year has been a really, really tough year. Not just, you know, for Hunter and the Giants, but also I feel like, you know, for me as well, and you know, a lot of the people that I talk to, like my friends and stuff, feel the same way. I don't know, maybe it's something in the air. I don't know, there's a lot going on. For me personally, I've had two deaths in my family. I've had a lot of health problems this year. This is actually a great way for me to look back and be like, hey, you know, Lex, be easy on yourself. My friend, my good friend Ashley, she was like, Lex, don't put so much pressure on yourself to like be at this point or like because you're not working out every day or because you're not, you know, you can't do everything that you wanna do, like don't put pressure on yourself for not being able to do it, like be easy. And that was like, you're right. Be easy, what a concept, right? Small steps, right? Be easy and three things that I try and do to like feel good every day. So if I'm doing those three things and that doesn't work, which today they weren't working, right? Like drink water, I got plenty of sleep and I'm eating healthy. So then I threw in a workout, get those endorphins going. Even when you don't wanna do it, like you have to get stuff done, right? So. My mind is doubting so much, you know? Like, usually I have no problem creating videos or coming up with video ideas. I made a commitment tonight to a couple of friends to do this, I don't know, this New Balance thing. So I promised them that I'd go with them and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go because I made a commitment. These are all things that I have to show up for even though I'm not feeling it. But you know, that brings me to my first question. What happens when you're just not feeling it? What happens when you're just not feeling that inner drive and like you just don't want to do anything? Is it okay to say no? I'm going to cancel everything? Is it okay to say screw it, just cancel it, I'm going to go lay on the couch? I don't think today is one of them. I think Mallory would be really upset with me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to keep taking you guys along with me and we're going to do stuff even though we don't want to do it today. I guess at this point I should go get dressed. So I did my makeup, I did my hair, I took a shower, I got dressed, and I do feel a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go do this interview. Luckily it's via computer, but I did have to look presentable. <laughs> um, so that was good motivation to get ready. And Mallory's ordering lunch. It's a really late lunch. It's Pina Pal Mal. What do you do when you're feeling uninspired? Well, that's a 
good question. When I feel uninspired, I usually go on Pinterest because Pinterest <laughs> always has what I'm looking for. Whether it's a quote or a cute picture of a dog, like looking the screen or just doing something funny. Or I watch a Let's Get Lexi video. <laughs> oh, jeez. You have some good ones. Thanks. I personally really like the, um, what it's like when Hunter's gone for seven days. Oh yeah. And that one's one of my favorite. It always makes me laugh. I've watched it like 20 times and it still makes me laugh. Maybe it'll make me laugh. You should watch it. Nothing will make me laugh. I'm dead inside. My soul matches my outfit right now. I just had my interview. Now I'm eating Chipotle. Taking me back to my roots. And guess what? I feel a lot better. Oh, they didn't bring me my Coke. Oh, shoot. You know, I really turned this day around. So that's a good lesson for the both of us. <laughs> is a little bit of water, a little bit of workout, being outside, changing, getting yourself ready for the day. Although I don't still feel creative, but I feel less lethargic. I think that's a good a good way to put it. Okay, so I'm back from New Balance, uh, the event, and I'm not gonna lie, it took a lot for me to go out. I want to be there and like, do everything. Like I said, like I really, this video was important to me because I really wanted to show everyone that I'm not 100% all the time, like no one is. You know, I think half the battle is figuring out like what works for you. Also, I think like leaning on people really helps too. Leaning on your friends. My good friend Carmen wrote me like a sweet little note, which, you know, coming home to this was like, that was a huge like pick me up. And then also like Hunter keeps sending me sweet notes like, don't worry when the time is right, like you'll start to feel creative again. And I think I have to be okay with the idea that I can take some time for myself. I can take some time to like reset and rebalance and and do some self care. So I need to make it a priority to make sure I'm, I'm taking care of myself mentally and physically. Yeah, I'm making sure I put that first because I don't like this feeling of being burnt out. I don't like this feeling of like, just not feeling inspired to create something. And these videos are super important to me because it's the way I communicate. My YouTube channel is like my baby, it's like my my thing. It's like my, I just love it so much and I love connecting with you guys. The idea of like, you know, missing a video or, or not creating a video is, I don't like it. And, but I need to stop putting pressure on myself and trust the idea that it will come and it will come together. So I'm gonna go to bed early, I'm gonna take a bath tonight I'm gonna try to do the same thing all over again and hopefully that I'll get better. I didn't feel like my higher self today and when I don't like to work out of places that I don't feel like my higher self and I'm not saying I'm at my higher self all the time but I like to come, I like to work from a place of inspiration and I don't feel like I was in my most inspired place today and I haven't felt like that for the past couple of days. Doing things you don't wanna do, you have to do them. You just gotta get back into it and I think today was a good testament for myself to see that. Like, I showed up for my interview, I went and I worked out, I went outside, I dressed up, I put on some makeup, and like, yeah, I felt a lot better and I was getting there and I went to this, you know, event. We just gotta take a little bit more time for ourselves and reset. I feel good, I feel better, and I'm excited to kind of relax now for the rest of the night, go to sleep early, drink some water, and go to bed. I'll see you guys soon. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below what your tips and tricks are for when you're feeling uninspired. I would really love to hear them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so because we post videos here every single week. And I don't want you to miss one. And I'll see you in the chat. Bye.